Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Ronald. If you're new here, first things first, like, share, subscribe so you never miss a bite. Well, it happened to be my, actually my wife's birthday. I'm like, you know what? How about if we do a little something? So, I uh, think about this way. If you ever wanted a dessert, but that is not so sweet, but also is kind of, let's say, a bit healthy. Well, that's in quotes for desserts. Anyways, let's get started because I want to show you right now how I made that amazing dessert that you can actually make for yourself and also cost effective. Okay, so you're going to need a few things for this dessert right here and it's as simple as this. Alright, so what we have here is basically some strawberries you could prefer, and also some uh, blackberries. You could use blueberries, you could use any other biscuit that you prefer. But this is what we have here, maybe kiwi or whatever. But I'm going to use this right here and I'm going to make some whipped cream. As you can see I have 35% 30, cream here. I have a bit of vanilla extract here that because I'm going to make my own uh, whipped cream. So when you're making whipped cream, you can easily use a whisk like this manually or food processor or hand blender like this. So what we have here, as I said, is a bit of cream. Next, I'm going to put in about a teaspoon or of vanilla extract. A little bit of sugar and this is what I meant by non too sweet you really determine the sweetness of your uh, whipped cream and then give it a, a, a whip or a whisk whatever you may be using so this is the fastest way to do it as I said uh, a whisk will also do a trick for sure also some people ask if they can make whipped cream out of uh, maybe 10% or whatever. No, it's not the same thing, it's not the easiest thing because you don't have as much uh, fat because you do need the fat content. So what you're looking for here is a soft pick. But also you don't want to over whip it because if you do, guess what happens? Your biscuit becomes again water or buttery, I would say, it starts to separate. When you uh, dip it and you do that, it will show you a pick like that. So this is not so bad. A little bit more would be great. Okay, so now that our whipped cream is ready, let's get assembling. So you will need, it's actually best to use one of those glasses. Imagine like a wine glass, but not so far that. But also, I'm going to use a bowl today because actually that's what we have. So what we do right here, I've already pre-cut up my uh, uh, strawberries here and also have the blackberries. I don't need to cut those really. If you can, if you want, go ahead and do so, but you don't really have to. It's up to you whether you start off with whipped cream or uh, strawberries or your fruit. So I'm just going to kind of layer it like that way. Have a little bit of that. Have some of them just like that. Make sure they go on the side too. And you have your blueberries in here. I mean, look at that, you can't really go wrong, right? Next, again, you get some of your whipped cream again. And then once again, you get your strawberries topped up like that again. Or whatever the whatever fruit you may be doing, just like that. There's this trick, by the way, and if you know it, you can also use it. It's kind of a small trick you use to do this. Like that. And then you put that on top like that. I'll do another one. It basically already looks amazing, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to go an extra mile. So in this case, I have a little bit of syrup, which actually was made for me by one of our, our friends here in Wawashin. Just put a little bit like that. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. So 
so basically in a nutshell it's that simple to make yourself an amazing dessert but also at the same time less calories but a little sugar in there as i say you determine because what how can you get wrong with fruit and a little bit of whipped cream but something you've made yourself and you know how much sugar is going in there well i'm gonna give it a try right now mm. see oh my god the combination of basically the, the sugar will cut down on the acidity of the fruit itself and also it cuts back on the sugar itself remember there's a bit of sugar in the fruit as well it just turns out really really amazing and it's other than that guys i hope you really have liked it um by the way i forgot to actually tell you the word of the day the word of the day today is fruits fruits in general in my language we say a bibala a bibala is basically any type of fruit could be mango could be banana could be you know all that kind of stuff all right and by the way don't forget to check out my wife's youtube channel it's called respect is growing i'm typically there i'll see you in the next video thank you guys bye now